Welcome back. We got, uh, I mean, this is Yamajack. Welcome back. This is Yamajack. We got Commando KF Rig Suicidal. I like Commando. Commando's a good class. I like him. I like it. It's good. It's good. It's good, dude. It's good. KF Rig's a good map as well. It's all, it's all, I mean, this is, this is just a good combination here. This is a good combination here. I uh, Suits and boots, guys. We got I don't know. I had, I, had, I, had, I had a topic in my mind. It was in my brain hole, you know. It just disappeared. I started talking about it, and it's just it's gone. It is a uh, gun. All right, so we'll talk about Royal Road. Royal Road is a uh, Railroad.com is a like fiction, not fan fiction necessarily, but just like fiction, um, like amateur fiction writing site place for for hosting. Um, various fiction stories and stuff that uh, that people write. It's where I'm reading Azrin's Healer, um, and it seems really really cool. I uh, I've been reading Azrin's Healer on it for the past like week or two ish. Can't remember how long it's been. Um, I'm on chapter like 150 or something like that, um, which is cool. But uh, I finally like looked into the website itself because I've I've been seeing a few other recommendations from the same site, and I was like, huh, I wonder if this is like a site I should be paying attention to, and it totally is. It's super super cool. So it's um this isn't sponsored, but Royal Road like call me. Um. Uh. Where was I even going with this? Right, so it's 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 again, it's like uh, just a fiction hosting website where you can write your story you and they'll host it. Um, it's all original stuff, or you know, it could be fan fiction, but um, like the people are writing it. It's not just like copied from somewhere else. You know, it's it's all stuff that is actually written by the people who are posting it on that site, which is, uh, in my opinion, cool because you get to actually like interact with the. Uh, the authors, which is 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 a good experience. I haven't had that yet because I'm reading Azra and Teeler. I'm on chapter like 140, and there's like 500 chapters or something stupid. Um, so I'm definitely not at the point where I'm interacting with the author. Um, oof, that's brutal, dude. That's brutal. Um, okay, okay. Well, we go for the Kalashnikov. Um, that's okay. That's okay. It's okay. I hate when I don't get enough money, man. That sucks. I mean, hell on earth would kind of solve that, but I don't really want to move up there. I like I like making stuff easy for me when I'm a gunslinger anyway. <laughs> when I'm anything else, it's like, oh, baby, it's so hard. That's what she said. I'm a she, so I, I said it. Not to you, though. I'm sorry. Um, so Railroad is, is, is like a fiction site, right? It's so cool. There's like so many stories on it, and uh, I'm definitely going to be spending a lot more time... Uh, reading it, reading stuff on it, because again, it's like super, super, super cool. Love it. Um, but it, it's got me thinking, right? It's got me thinking. I like writing. I love writing. I'm, uh, I've been writing on and off various stories since I was like 12 or 13. I, I love reading. I love reading. I love writing. Um, it's, it's not really like a passion of mine necessarily, but it's definitely an interest of mine, you know? So it got me thinking as I've uh, investigated this uh, royal road uh, to think maybe maybe I could uh, join the ranks there and uh, and write a story because I've been wanting to write like kind of a similar story to Azeroth Healer for a while, right? Because um, I, I love reading these things, right? Where somebody's uh, transferred to a different world and then um, has to deal with with all the problems that come from that and. And everything like I love that kind of stuff, right? Like it's 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 my guilty pleasure that I'm not so um, that I don't feel much guilt around. I don't mean I don't feel much guilt around much, but um, it's uh, it's something I love to do, right? I love that kind of stuff. Uh, as not good as it necessarily is as a genre, it's it's what I love. Um, it's very you know tropical, we'll say. Uh, very. Typical, uh, very, very tropical, very generic, typically. Um, but I love it. I love, I love reading it, and I've uh, been wanting to write something like that for a while. 
And I've got like all this free time now, right? As as we're, we're moving over to a more um, flexible work life for me on YouTube here. And I'm like, you know what? Maybe I can use some of that extra time that I've got while I'm uh, waiting for videos to render or waiting for stuff to happen in Minecraft or in RuneScape or, or whatever, right? Just waiting for stuff to happen. Uh, or if I just want to write, um, you know, maybe maybe I can throw together a uh, a little fiction story of my own, you know? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Could be kind of cool. Now, am I definitely going to do it? <sighs> I don't know. It's It's been something that I've been thinking about. I'm going to definitely try, because I do love writing. I just, uh, again, it, it, well, I can't say again. I talked about it in a Minecraft episode, um, <laughs> but those aren't live yet. So it's not really again, but um, for the first time. Why does it prioritize nades and pistol ammo over combat armor? Like, the armor is so much more important than getting some pistol ammo. Like... What the heck, man? Um, wait, 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 wait. Um, I guess fallback's better, so you can switch quickly. Yeah, yeah, especially once you get the um, like the M16, M203, and then the uh, HM Tech 501, so you can switch back and forth, you know, nice and quickly. Very nice. Like, look at that. Look at that speed, baby! Um, anyway, I've, I've been thinking about writing something. I haven't, uh, I haven't had that inspiration hit, but I'm gonna give it a try. And, uh, you know, if, if it ends up clicking with me, I'm gonna stick with it. And if it doesn't, then I'm not, right? I think I'm an okay writer. Uh, I'm a, I'm a D and D DM, right? Uh, kind of gotta be <laughs> pretty creative to be in that kind of position. Uh, everything I do is homebrewed. In uh, in D and D, um, gotta be at least somewhat creative, and my players tend to have fun, so gotta be at least somewhat good at it um, for your players to actually enjoy it. So it's uh, I think I think I can make something fairly enjoyable, perhaps. Yeah, it'd be pretty tropical, right? Tro tro not tropical, tropical. I gotta sneeze. Oh, baby, what a sneeze. What a sneeze. Um, not not tropical. Okay, tropical and tropical are different. I just made up tropical. Tropical is a mix between trope and typical. So it's very full of tropes. I don't know if somebody else has made it up. It's not a very hard to think up uh, word, but that's, that's my word. I'm currently claiming it as my own. Tropical. It's mine. I made it. I thought of it just now. Somebody else has probably also made it. We can both, you know, we can have, uh, we, we can have equal responsibility on it. You know, it's going to be somebody from, like, it's going to be, like, a well-known word within, like, uh, TV tropes or something like that. And they're like, what do you mean you made it up? It's, like, a word. You can't just invent triangle. Come on. What are you doing? But no, I made it. It's mine. You made this? I made this. Um, yeah, it'll be a very tropical thing, so I don't know if people are going to like it so much, but it's going to be exactly what I like reading, right? But with my own writing on it, because I also want to like writing it. Um, because I won't really be reading it, I'll be writing it. You don't really get to read the stuff you write, just like you don't really get to watch the videos you make and then like enjoy them. You can watch them and critique them, but you don't really get to watch them and enjoy them. Let's see if we can make this shot. <laughs> very, very close indeed. Hey, let's go. <laughs> yes. Love it. Love it. Oh, my. You ever get that itch? It's like, um... It's not like on your butt, but it's like on your, on your thigh right next to your butt. And you can't like scratch it with your chair because it's just like you know the curvature of all the parts there just kind of makes it a little bit tricky for you to get like a proper scratch on that area even if you can make contact it's not really a scratch you know so you end up having to like scratch just next to your thigh and it's like you are really like picking at your butt you're just scratching your leg but like 
to other people, it can kind of look like you're, you're picking at your butt. Anyway, I just had an itch on my leg. Oh, yeah. Deal with it. Deal with it, dude. Break time's over. Get back to work. More the things I talk about. I, uh, we talked about the power outage yesterday uh, in the last video. I didn't have my uh, battery pack, pack uh, charged. The thing is, my controller, which is right here, tapping it on my shoulder. And then my battery pack, eh, also tapping it on my shoulder, although it's a little bit harder to not hurt myself with that one, because it's a bit heavier. <laughs> also, right in front of me, and they use the same charging cord, which is, you know, right here, because I use uh, I use it to connect to my, uh, my controller to my computer. So it's like readily available, very long, and, and very easily accessible for me. So I can move around and be pretty free with uh, with it all, which is good. Um, they use the same charging cord, right? So I, I guess it kind of wasn't really an eye opener because I knew I should be doing it. I just wasn't. But I guess I'm gonna get into the habit of uh, of making sure that my uh, my my battery pack is is charged at all times, and I'll just switch my controller to be using the charger when. Uh, when I'm actually playing Monster Hunter or something that requires it. I don't have to have it plugged in all the time because most of the time I'm not using it. Um, so, yeah. That's that's my rant on that. It was uh, really unfortunate though because I was like, dude, I don't know when power's going to come back. You know, right when I woke up, right? I was like, power's out. My sister messaged me like 20 minutes ago saying power's out. A pole was hit. I'm like, I don't know how bad the damage is. I don't know how long it's going to take for me to... Or how long it's going to take for them to get the power back up. Um, so I was like, yeah, so we just got to kind of like work this out. And uh, <laughs> hopefully we can make it. So I checked my, my phone and my phone's at full charge. Thank God. Um, and I'm like, my battery pack's out. So my phone should last for like most of the day if... Uh, if it comes down to needing, if it comes down to needing to, to like last through the day, then then my phone should last most of the day. But then beyond that, I don't have uh, my battery pack's not going, so I'm going to be out of a battery um, towards the end of the day. And like if I were to be on my phone all day, it would probably last eight or nine hours. With with what I typically do on my phone, which is to to read on the internet. So there's you know data and. Um, like the screen is updating and changing and stuff and then on for a lot of that and not 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 a very demanding task but definitely a very screen intensive task so I could have maybe turned on uh, like some kind of uh, battery save or something like that I didn't decide to do that because rather than just immediately panicking I was like hey I'll uh, go check BC Hydro's Twitter see if anything's uh, updating there and yeah they said it'd be back by 12 p.m. I didn't know. So, 12 p.m. is one of those times that gets me, right? Because uh, 12 p.m., I'm like, is that noon or midnight? I don't know. I always get so confused by it. Which is why I choose to use 24-hour time on my uh, on my computer. I use 24-hour time because I don't know if 12 noon is 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. I never know. Um, but 12 p.m. is apparently... Smack. 12 p.m. is apparently noon, but you know most people just say like 12 noon instead of 12 p.m. Like some kind of weirdo. Who the heck knows when 12 p.m. is? Okay, nobody, nobody knows this. Nobody knows this. Um, but I was like, there's no way it's gonna take like what 19 hours or whatever for them to fix the the pole. So I figured it'd be noon. Um, not that one. This one. So I figured we'd be good, right? But um, yeah, I was just, uh, and then, then, and then, you know, I was, I was like, well, I don't really have to worry about putting on battery save or whatever, because even if it's delayed, it's gonna get delayed to like what, you know, two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon. My phone's gonna last until then, just fine. I'm gonna take a nap part way through anyway, and it'll be totally okay. Just milk yava. Milkshake is really good though. I love it, man. I don't get it too often because, A, it's like $8 for a dang milkshake. Um, no thank you. 
Um, B, I don't really want to order fat burger that much because like it's not very good for you. <laughs> uh, and then B, the milkshake itself, even when I do order fat burger, is like you know, nine thousand calories on its own. So it's like yeah, not really a, a good decision to be making too often. He's like juking me even though he's standing still. Can we talk about this? Can we talk about how freaked this is? You know what, buddy? I don't think you're gonna be able to hit me. Yeah. Yep. I think we're gonna end up just having to tank. Where did he go? Did he just like teleport or something? That's sick. Whatever, dude. Just, just do it. Do it, dude. I don't care. Because you know what I'm going to do immediately afterwards? Smack. How do you like them apples, huh? How do you like them apples? You, you like them apples. Do you guys like apples? I'm not a fan of apples. I'm more of a, an orange kind of girl. Peaches. You know? These types of things. I don't like apples so much. I know that apples are like... Uh, one of the most popular... Just like snacking fruits out there you know like they're they're really okay look i never made any claims to be very good at commando okay give me king flash brown give me the abomination give me the patriarch we'll win hans matriarch good luck dude especially as a level 10 commando on suicidal just want to reiterate that <laughs> more of an orange Peach, pear, not pear, not pear. I don't actually like pears. You know what you know, kind of gets me? Is, uh, I've only ever had one pear in my life. One, one ever, one ever. Tasted like an apple. I talk to people, right, out there. They don't like apples that much, but their favorite fruit will be a pear. And I'm like, Y'all know they're basically the same thing, right? Like, they the same dang food. One of them is just pear-shaped, and one of them is apple-shaped. That's it. That's that's the, there, There's your difference, okay? They're the same damn thing. I don't know, maybe I gotta try some more pears, but my sister's, like, fatally allergic to them, so... Not really, uh, high on my list of priorities. Also, I didn't like the one pear that I had, so it's, you know, just kinda already not very high on my list of priorities. Um... But, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's just, um, peeps, peeps be weird, dude, peeps be weird. I started saying peeps a lot for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why. But it's like, it's like my new word, you know, every now and then I go through a, a phase where, where there's a new cool word in my life, right? Right now it's peeps. I don't know where, I, like, I didn't hear it from anywhere, right? I made it. <laughs> I, I made this, this is my word, peeps, peeps is my thing. Okay, but it's, it's how I refer to people now. I don't say people, I say peeps. Okay, I, it's just it's just like the natural shortening of people, right? Peeps. That's what I say in place of people in all situations, except for like professional ones. But I don't have any professional situations, and even if I did, as a YouTuber, um, it's okay for me to kind of be a little bit, you know, off the rails because that's what I'm expected to be. As long as I uh, still maintain some degree of professionalism and, and all that, I can I can say peeps all I want. Okay, can't stop me. Um, what I'm saying is, you know, Corsair hit me up. Um, I want a sponsorship, dude. Not because I want money, okay? I don't want a sponsorship for the money, okay? <laughs> Genuinely, I don't. Now, I'm not gonna, you know, if, if you're watching this and you're like, ooh, we're gonna go get a free sponsorship, free ad, no. I, I need the money if you're gonna, if I'm gonna advertise you, okay? But I don't, uh, I don't want it for the money. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you, if you want me to do it, you have to pay Perfect. me to do it. And I don't have enough of a, of a, of a viewership for me to, to be like, yeah, I'll actually like get people doing that. But what I want a sponsorship just because I want to read the email. I want to, I want to read the email that they send me. Okay, I want to read it and then I want to reply to it because it'll make me feel like a big girl now. That's it. That's my reasoning for for wanting a sponsorship. Well, it's that, and then also, like, wouldn't it be cool to be game. like, Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we've got our segue to the sponsor! <laughs> oh, God. 
you know, um, Raid, Shadow Legend. <laughs> I would never take a sponsorship from Raid. Never, ever, ever. AFK Arena, never, ever, ever. I ain't, I ain't about that life, okay? And you know what's, you know what's gonna be great? Is the only kinds of sponsors that would actually be watching this video. <laughs> and then, uh, be like, ooh, maybe we can go and, like, just get, like, uh, some cheap advertising here. Would be, like, those two people. We'd be like, yeah, we can go give, like, you know, 100 bucks for a sponsorship or, or something. So that, like, you know, if anybody is going to be doing it, which nobody is, they'd be the people who do it, right? Um, and I'm like, yeah, no, not not you, though. You know, it's it's like uh, that, that uh, I want that meme template, you know? Um, I want that meme template with, uh, you got, like, the nine boxes or whatever. And then it's like, I want you, 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 not you, 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 you. Um, and then the, all of the yous are like uh, the places that I actually like would take a sponsorship from. Um, and then uh, in the middle is uh, like Raid Shadow Legends and uh, AFK Arena. <laughs> not you. Would not do that. I don't know. There's like a billion different sponsorships I wouldn't take. Again, we're not even, I'm not even... A, close to the point where sponsorships are something I have to be thinking about, but I still think about it, okay? Because it's fun, and what else am I going to do with all this time that I have? You want me to just sit here and do nothing? Nah, I'm going to think, I'm going to I'm gonna pretend I'm better than I am, and be like, oh man, if I was like, if I was ever like, accosted on the street, I'd just pull out my imaginary, like, super, superwoman powers and just mess them up, and it would go exactly like this. Meanwhile, if it were to happen, I'd be like, here's all of my money, Please don't kill me. Um. <laughs> no, don't shoot me. Um. But you know, you, you, you think about this stuff, right? Just for funsies. So, uh. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think about it from time to time. It'd be cool to, to get it. And I just, uh, lots, lots of sponsorships I wouldn't take. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever, you know, if I ever do get sponsorships. Probably for the main channel, not this one, which still doesn't have any video- Oh, dear lord, we're getting quarter pounds while I only have a 9 mil? I tell you, we're just dead. The episode ends here. Just, just telling it to you like it is, okay? No, wait, we still have grenades, we still have grenades, we still have grenades, we still have grenades. Only a couple- Oh, this could be- this could be clutch. Wait, we still have grenades. We still have grenades, dude. Smack him, dude. Smack him! Hoi! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Uh, I think I really got shredded, actually. I don't know, I just, uh, if I ever do take sponsorships, if I ever do, I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now. Okay? 100%. It'll be on the main channel, probably. I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe this channel eventually as well. If, uh, if I ever make it like my vlogging channel or whatever. Um, but if I ever do, 100% anything I take a sponsorship for is something that I 100% believe in. Like, uh, I use, like, it's not even just something that I use, okay? Because there are a lot of products that I use but I don't believe in, that I wouldn't recommend. Like, uh, private internet, private internet access, I use them. If you would ask me, like, nine months ago, would I, would I take a sponsorship from private internet access? 100% yes. Um, lately though I've been having a lot of issues with it and it's like still the spawn the PV the VPN that I use but it's been having some weird slowdowns and there's like been some issues with like Google and stuff and I'm like yeah I use it and I'm okay with using it I would not tell other people to get it because I think that it's not worth I, I think if I was gonna be going and getting another like VPN if I was gonna be putting in the time to do that and like research around and see something I wouldn't take VI even though since I have it, I'm just like too lazy to go and get something else that's better. Um, so it has to be something that I like 100% believe in, you know? Like, uh, I would take a sponsorship from uh, Corsair. I don't know why they'd ever sponsor me, but I will take a sponsorship from Corsair. I believe in them. I don't believe, I believe that any product you buy from Corsair is going to be not the best product around, but I believe that anything you buy from them is of acceptable quality. Um, same kind of thing with like, uh, you know, like if Tripwire was to sponsor me, 
I believe that that you know, Killing Floor 2 obviously is a game that I really enjoy. And the other thing is the Tripwire would obviously not sponsor me for like a, a segment because it's like, hey, check out Killing Floor 2. By the way, here's my um, thousand videos on Killing Floor 2. <laughs> you know, no. Um, uh, but you know. You be dead. Um, what other kind of places would I take? I take I take a sponsorship from. Uh, I would I would straight up I straight up I take a sponsorship from Walmart. Okay. I like Walmart. Walmart wants to pay me to advertise them. Go for it. I'm into it. I'm here for it. No, what a whiff. What a whiff, dude. Um, Best Buy? Heck nah, man. I ain't taking a sponsorship from no Best Buy. They bunch of scammers. I actually did get scammed by Best Buy once. Like, straight up. They, uh, and it was, you know, mostly the place rather than the store itself as a whole. Um, but, uh, forget exactly what happened. Oh, jeez. Here, hit me. Launch me backwards so I can smack you with a grenade. Thank you. Um, forget exactly what happened, but I, like, I bought something and they were like, yeah, so the warranty covers this, 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 and this. And then one of those things happened and I took it back and like, oh, well, the warranty does it. Oh, right, it was a Chromebook, I believe. It was a Chromebook. And they were like, yeah, so if anything happens to it, you know, the screen cracks or it gets run over by a truck or whatever, like, your warranty's going to cover it. And I was like, dang, dude, like, this warranty is, like, actually pretty lit. It was, like, super cheap. And uh, the sales rep said that it covered everything, right? So, like, if it ever broke to anything. And he gave me, like, you know, screen's broken or literally gets run over by a truck or, you know, it falls into a pool or whatever. Like, you know, as long as you still have the machine. It's, uh, it's covered by the warranty. And I was like, dang, I don't really like warranties because they usually feel like a scam because that's what they are. But like, I feel like you guys just introduced this warranty and you haven't quite figured out that it's a scam to you guys yet. So like, heck yeah, sign me the heck up. So I, uh, I bought the warranty and then the screen cracked and I took it back and I was like, hey, so my, uh, my Chromebook broke. I brought the Chromebook in with the receipt and all that, right? It's like, hey, so my Chromebook broke. I had like the warranty on it. And, uh, you guys said that it could be replaced or whatever, so I, I wanted to get a new one. So one of the sales reps is like, yeah, sure, we can, like, show you around and, and like, uh, you guys, you can, like, pick out, uh, a new one or whatever. So I go and I look around and I'm like, yeah, this one looks good. He's like, yeah, it's around the same price range, so, yeah, that, that seems fine. So we take it up to the counter, he rings the damn thing up on the till, and he's like, alright, so that'll be, like, $270. I'm like... No, 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 you don't understand. Like, I had the warranty. It's like, well, your screen was cracked. It doesn't cover, you know, cracked screen. We can't really do anything about that. I'm like, no, you, like, the dude literally told me that, uh, it literally covered the, the screen cracking. And, uh, he was like, well, it doesn't. So we can't really do anything about it. I'm like, all right, like, <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do about the, me, me having paid for this warranty? And the, the, the device, when I, I thought that I was getting this warranty that did cover it, and now learned that it doesn't afterwards, like, well, you know, we can't really do anything about it. So I didn't even get the warranty refunded. I didn't get anything refunded. I was, I was so unbelievably mad. I've never, shop, I've never shopped at Best Buy again since. Never shopped there again. Because, I like, that was, like, the worst experience I've ever had in customer service. Like, <laughs> you just... The dude just says that anything is covered, and I buy the warranty, and then I like my screen cracks, and I take it back. I'm like, oh well, it doesn't cover screen cracks. Like, what do you want? What is it going to cover then? <laughs> like, if not screen cracks, like, what's it going to cover then? <laughs> like, what else is going to happen? It doesn't cover physical damages. It just covers like, oh, if it slows down a little bit, it's a Chromebook. <laughs> what the heck's going to happen to it? Oh my, uh, my Chromebook's kind of slowing down. It feels a little bit slow. Yeah, it's a damn Chromebook, dude. What'd you expect from it? You expected it to be like blazingly fast? It's a Chromebook. So anyway, that was like the worst experience I've ever had in uh, in retail, in a retail store like ever. I was uh, probably 15 or 16 at the time. I actually made the original Yamajack.com on that Chromebook, which was, I don't know, a feat. <laughs> um, and, uh, dude, I'd, I'd, I'd never been so mad. I was, like, 15, and, uh, it was 
eye-opening to me that they can just do that. That they can just tell you that it'll cover something and then not, like, you know, actually follow through with that because they can just do that and there's nothing you as a customer can do about it at all. A at most, I could have, like, contacted, like, my bank or something and been like, hey, so I bought this, they didn't actually do that, and then my bank might have gone through and, and like refunded it for me and like charged it back and then I would have had some problems with the Best Buy who would have been like hey you can't just charge this stuff back and I would have had like a negative thing on my account and blah 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 but it was just like as a 15 or 16 year old or however old I was at the time it was it was a really eye-opening experience that you that they can just do that that they can just lie to you straight up lie to you about what it is and and nothing will come of it like how many other customers out there were, uh, and mine was only a Chromebook, right? So the warranty on it was fairly cheap. But like, how many other customers out there had like expensive machines where the warranty was actually expensive, and um, purchased it just because people were telling them that they can get it replaced for anything? Like, how many how many people out there have been scammed by this? Like, probably thousands, right? Probably literally thousands. You know, and. Uh, it's super unfortunate. I worked in retail uh, for a while as well, and uh, similar kind of experience. We were definitely like told to lie to our customers about what 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 kind of stuff we have and what kind of stuff we we sell. Like it was, we were our, our training was was to tell them things that was just blatantly false, um, you know. And uh, that was definitely like a super disappointing um, experience as well. Uh, that was a uh, future shop, I believe. And uh, yeah, the training was to just lie to uh, lie to our customers. It, they, they didn't they didn't say it was a lie, but but it, it's always like um, you know they get they get their ways around it. It's not a lie. We're just you have to, you're you're withholding a little bit of the truth, and it's like no, you're lying to them. You know, you're you're misleading. You're intentionally misleading them to to make them buy a product that uh, that they wouldn't otherwise buy if they had the whole truth. Um, you know. But yeah, you'd have to lie to them about the warranties to get them to buy it. And you'd have to lie to them about the products to make sure they buy the the products. And we're not, we're not alive. The lies were always like simple little things, you know, like, oh, well, it's not very important to have a powerful computer. What you really want to make sure is that uh, that you have the warranty and the support that you need to, to keep it going forward. That, that's more important than getting a powerful computer. No, it's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. You know, because the other thing is we will give you support for the same price as the warranty later on when you actually need it you know i might be able to actually get this guy here maybe nah it's not gonna happen damn um you know it's just a uh, like retail man like i just i hate it i hate it so much it's such a terrible place to be as a customer and as an employee yeah, that was definitely a, an eye-opening experience for me at Best Buy. And you know what? If any Best Buy rep is, is listening to me talk about how much I hate Best Buy, like, by all means, give me a bunch of money to shut me up. <laughs> I won't shut up, though. Um, but I will say that you tried to make me shut up, and that's probably a good thing for you. If I ever become somebody important, which might happen eventually. Again, not going to happen, but um, I, like, I like thinking about it, you know. Oh, I hate this thing. Hate that. Um, oh, I hate that too. Super close. Can't you can't actually crouch and, and avoid all the damage as much as I say you can. You can't. Um, but anyway, it was just like as a 16-year-old to like put so much of my money towards like a Chromebook, and then like be tricked into buying the warranty, and then it to break and me be like, oh, it's fine. Like I have the the warranty. It'll be okay. And then to go in, be like, and the worst part is that he went through and like picked up the Chromebook and then brought it up and I was like, hey, it's going great. And then he just asks for my money. <laughs> you know, yeah, he asked for me to pay for it. And I'm like, what the hell did I just waste my time with? Like, like you wasted my time. Lied to me. About, about like, what product I was buying. Like, it's just, like, a mess. An absolute mess. Um, not a good experience for, for 15 or 16 year old me or however old I was. It was... I have I have lost a lot of trust for retail since then. I have a lot less respect for them. And you know, I don't want to be rude to the to the retail people because I've been there, you know. 
Um, you don't want rude customers, but like I just nothing nothing you say. I'm I'm not I'm not believing anything you say. I don't care how nice you seem. I, I just I don't I can't believe anything that they say. And I think that's I I think and you know partially because of my uh, my traumatic experiences. Um, but I think it's it's largely because of that. Um, but uh, I, I think it's a good idea to not believe things that the people who are trying to sell you stuff say about the stuff they're trying to sell you. I think it's good to do your own independent research on it. Um, I do think that, um, and I, I tend to do that now. I just I can't I can't walk into a place and expect honesty. I, I can't like I've been behind the counter, I've been in front of the counter, I've been scammed, I've been behind the counter and been you know written up because I didn't scam the customers <laughs> like. Retail's not a good place. It's not about the customer. It's about the money, and that I'm not. I'm not into that. That's why I want to work in YouTube. That's why I want this job because this is purely about fun, you know. And uh, I think I can do it, but retail's not for me, man. I did. I did a few jobs in retail. I worked at uh, like a general electronics store. I worked at a uh, consumer electronics store. I worked at. Um, uh, I've worked at. Yeah, so to two retail jobs where you had to scam your customers. One of them was too dead for me to have customers to scam, so that was pretty nice. Um, and the other one was, was fairly popular. That was Future Shop. And uh, yeah, definitely not a good place to work. Do not recommend. Um, I think that a lot of it was because of the one place that I worked. I think that Future Shop as a whole is probably more trustworthy. But even then, I'm like, I just I think that any retail place is just a terrible place to work and a terrible place to shop. Um you know, people are always like, oh, you can't go to Amazon. You have to support the other places. I don't think there is a single company that is worth supporting. So just buy whatever has the cheapest stuff. <laughs> Amazon's a terrible place. Future Shop's a terrible place. Best Buy's a terrible place. They're all they're all just terrible. The only place I like is Walmart. <laughs> That's where I do most of my shopping. Because people at Walmart don't care. You know? People at Walmart don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about their job. They don't care about the products. I, I respect that. I respect that because it means I'm not getting scammed because they <laughs> aren't trying to t help me, um, which I respect. Except, except you go to like the phone places. Anywhere that sells phones is going to be trying to scam you 100%. Um, anyway, so that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, like, and subscribe to see more of the future comments. If you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.